once again, this is a, a no-brainer. It's a common sense factor. Why should we even give a fuck what another person wants to do? It doesn't matter. If it's about preservation of one's race, then there's a problem. If it's about just making sure black people only have black people to be with, that's stupid. Happiness comes in all colors, all shapes and sizes. When's the last time you heard this dude say, hey man, hmm. You see that big old black loud mouth ugly ass woman over there talking shit with the five kids? Shit, she fine. And if so, and if he did like her, all she got is her priorities, what she want to get out of him. A lot of people bash women, not just blacks or white women, they bash women for what women expect of men. Don't go out there shooting these videos out about men being a certain way and, and black men leaving the race. Like I said, it's not what color you are, it's who can put up with you. I don't give a damn. You can be chartreuse in the face. If I'm single and you're the only woman out there that can really deal with me, you're the only woman that, that I want to be with because I can deal with you and I'm the only man that, then we together. And that don't matter what color you are. You know what I'm saying? Now, the clash between black women and black men. There's only a problem there for those women who can't get a man. The only problem there for those women is those who can't get one. Then, then, then when they get one, I can't get a good one. If you were born around knuckleheads, you're going to gravitate to knuckleheads. If you know how to speak and carry yourself like a good woman, then you will attract a good man. It's a fucking bottom line thing. And what if a good man show up and he's white as a goddamn sheet? What if the only good man show up is white, or Mexican, or Asian, or whatever? What if the only one show up is not the one you want? You gonna turn up your nose at the last chance? At the only one? Oh, wait a minute. So you do choose the white guy, right? Four years down the line, you see the black guy that you wanted. Do you trade in a happiness guarantee for one that you think is going to be there? What do you do? Answer these questions. Don't try to answer the question why a black man don't want to be with a black woman. Because not all black men don't want black women. Not all black women teach their kids that black men are any good. Not all black men are good. Not all black men are good. Well, you know what I mean. You get what you ask for, you search what you seek. You gravitate towards what you know best. So if you know what a good man is, you know how to find one. If you know how to create a good man, you know where the good men are made. You understand what I mean by that? Is a good man made in a single family home? Well, mama's been bitter a long time. Huh? Is a good man made? Well, every Sunday, all the whole family goes to church, and the father is there with, alongside his family going to church. Is a good man made wherever there's a man in the house going to work? A good man comes from a good one man. Period. You can be no good and have both your parents giving you everything in the world. A good man comes from good people. The character of the people raised with and around the person shape the character of the person in which you may end up with in life. So it's not about black and white, he say, she say, bashing black women. If people like the Sergeant Willie people, Willie Pete, if people like the Sergeant Willie Pete and people like Willie Pete did not have ignorance to see, they would not have ignorance to speak on. And that's a generational thing. And Willie Pete said, no nah, man, no, nah, Willie Pete will be the first person to tell you it doesn't go back to slavery. But I will tell you, it does go back that far. It goes back even farther than that. 
You once see a great man who once was king of this land. You see him on his knees crying because he can't do what he's supposed to do. Instead of being an encouraging woman, this man is beating the shit out of himself. He's internally beating himself to the ground. He's beating himself down to nothing so he can bring himself back up. But once he's beating himself down, he's already down on himself. He don't show you that. You walk up, you grab a stick, and you help him in that beating. You help him destroy his own will to continue. And then when he rebuilds himself, and he's still there with you, he's got the courage to raise his head. Don't go fuck up. Remember how you did last time? You lost everything, didn't have shit. Right before he goes out. Right before he, he, he he's pull his head up out the goddamn life of his own, which was nothing filled with nothing. He pulled his head up. You stick him in the back before he go outside. That's your contrib contribution to building his character. You must build the character of a man and not expect one to be there for you to pick up. If you pick up a good man, that means this woman has just died. Or she left him because he was too stale. Black women bashers can't back up their claims. I have never bashed a woman on this YouTube. And when I did, it's because she was saying black men are no good and white men are better. A man is a man. Now if I got on here, if, if Willie Pete, the Sergeant Willie Pete, got on YouTube and said, you know what? White women are better than black women. And then there's Mexicans, Chinese, Asian, you throw it, you keep on throwing women down the list and then you get to black women. If Willie put Willie put black women at the bottom of the list, I've never really seen him do that. I've never really I've never really ever heard him say black women are no good. He just say they need to straighten their act before they tell us to straighten ours. See, his mama raised him to be a good man. And all that I ever see him say is how his perspective of what a good woman should be. He's showing you and telling you about all these knuckleheads that he sees Monday through Friday walking up and down the street like they shit don't stink, like they're the finest thing on the street with the fucking Mitch Max goddamn hair and shit and what they think is cool from the next fucking ass shaking fucking video is bullshit. He's telling these women that you're walking around in a fucking clouded bullshit state of fucking mind. And some women are. Not all black women is ass shaking big titty, big lip booty holes or whatever. Not all black women are like that. And not all black men are bad. Black men with a, a voice are a problem. Because black men should shut the fuck up and go to work, right? A black man who says, I don't like this because of this and that, should shut the fuck up, bite the bullet, get your ass off the goddamn streets and go to work. Some black man can't work anymore. Some black man can't get out there and deal with this bullshit anymore. Stress and drama sends me to the point of postal. If I go postal, then I'll go by coastal from coast to coast, causing the most drama and pain. But instead, I sit in my box, keeping the devil maintained. Comment on what I see because I can't run in the street no more. Comment on what I know because what I know don't go no more. Comment on what I've seen because what I've seen don't work no more. Yet still I'm that black man who bashes who can't. I love everybody on this planet. No life shall be taken for granted and you've all been tubed.